Apple officially comes out and explains why they are not letting cloud gaming services like xCloud on their Apple phone, iOS devices. Xbox responds. The Xbox enthusiast is worked up. And now they're ready to go. See why the xCloud warriors are ready to go to war with Apple. And let's talk about if this is going to lead to anything substantial. Let's get into it. What's up, people? What's up, people? What's up, people? It's your boy, MM2K, back again with another video. Do me a huge favor, y'all. Before we get into this one, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Rock those bells for notifications, please, so you know when your boy's dropping these doses. I appreciate all y'all straight up. Y'all know the deal. Y'all know the reason. Y'all know the slogan. I'm not the proud ass. Let's get right into it. All right, y'all. So here's the deal. Okay, so this is Windows Gaming Central on Twitter. Um... And you guys know my ire that I have for the mainstream gaming media, and I would say Windows Central definitely fits into that. Even though I'm not going to put the weight of the the things that I, I loathe um, about this whole discussion on the full weight of Windows Central gaming, but unfortunately they were in the front row and like Def Comedy Jam. If you're in the front row and your glasses are crooked, or you know what I'm saying, and you got some old rock and wear on, <laughs> you will get. Hey, look, if if you're sticking out at the moment when I walk across the stage, you're gonna get picked on, and I, and that's the ordeal right here. So Windows Central Gaming is talking big about this whole Apple iOS thing because Microsoft wants to make a big deal out of it. And for those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, Xbox made an announcement that September 15th, xCloud is going to go hit like quote unquote retail due to um, it being bundled with um, Game Pass Ultimate. And then directly after that, Samsung had a show where they made the announcement of, of the further discussions of their partnership with xCloud and Xbox, where their um, Samsung devices are gonna get a special version of the xCloud app um, and then they were talking about how it's going to work with their new S20 line of phones all right um, now with that being said people then had a choice to make they said oh this coming S20 I really like the S20 phone but I may be an Apple user I'll wait for this all this service to come to iOS but then another bombshell was dropped where it was announced that the xCloud beta was pulled off of iOS iPhones devices um, and people were wondering why. And then Apple finally spoke up and said, look, it's because we, you know, we, we want to protect our services that we want to protect people from the services that we allow on our platform. But your bull pucky, I'll show you um, the direct quote in a little bit now mainstream entities like Windows Gaming Central are trying to give this illusion to the Xbox brass who are upset about this. They, they, they can fight this right now in 2020, 2021. That as is, they can get the Xbox app on iOS if they just get into their twisted sister mode. We're not going to take it. Put on their eyeliner and their colored hair and all other stuff. Start busting through walls like the old video back in the 80s. And I'm here to tell you it's not. And I'm explain why. But it's entities like this that really turn my stomach when, when, when they do stuff like this because they they mislead the unsuspecting gamer. And, and this is the tweet that I'm really referring to, talking about mentioning this stupid petition that's going out here instead of telling people the truth. Um here, here's the thing, y'all. Um, and I am in full disclosure, I am a cloud gaming enthusiast. I love cloud gaming. Um, I right now at this moment do 99.9% .9 of my gaming via the cloud. I think being able to game on your phone is cool and has a lot of potential down the road, but I separate the forest from the trees. I do not believe that the cloud, the mobile, not only cloud gaming, but the mobile cloud gaming market is big enough to make Apple want to change their mind about anything. It is what it is. And it's not going to sway their saturation and their user base in a major way. I mean, if you look at trends, it looks like in, in some areas where Samsung may have had the most traction, that iPhones are really starting to get bigger in some, even in Samsung's homeland. And I'll show you that in a little bit. Apple does not care about this super niche cloud gaming space at this moment. 
and they really don't care about the super, 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 super niche mobile cloud gaming space at that. Now, Xbox and has convinced people otherwise, and they mainly done it off the work of misleading and bullpucky expectations set by tweets like this. I, I, I don't like it. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, first, let's look at the Apple article altogether um, by Windows Central. And Apple responds to Xbox talking about why they didn't do it, why, why they won't do it. And this is their explanation, which I will admit is, is, is bullpucky. Um, Quote from Apple, quote, the app store was created to be a safe and trusted place for customers to discover and download apps and a great business opportunity for all developers. Um, and before they go in our store, all apps are reviewed against the same set of guidelines that are intended to protect customers and provide a fair and level playing field to developers. So all of a sudden, Apple now wants to be Wu-Tang and protect the babies, right? <laughs> it's it's, it's bullcrap. What it is, is that any app that generates money that comes to Apple, Apple wants that cash. That's why Fortnite was having, and Epic was having their issues while they created their own, because they, they were having their issues with app, not only Apple, but Google Play, because Google was like, yo, any skins that you sell or anything that, any business transactions that happen through your app, we want in on it if you want to sell it through our store. And Apple's like, we're going to block it all together unless we get our cut. And they got nothing to do with them checking the serve. This is streaming for crying out loud. They want their cut. Now, whether that's grimy or not doesn't matter because business is not fair. It's business, all right? Now, as a cloud gamer, as I admit it, to be full, fully transparent, cloud gaming is niche. I, I'm fully self-aware and I get that it's niche. I believe that it's growing, but whether it's gonna be a substantial part of our gaming, you know, daily livelihood is remains to be seen. I believe so, but we'll, we'll have to see. Now, People confuse cloud gaming with mobile gaming. And here's what you guys gotta understand, that even though most people game on their mobile devices, mobile gaming at the moment is a daddy device service. What do I mean by daddy, daddy device service? Something where the application that you're playing is locally stored on your device. Cloud gaming is not based upon that. The application that you're playing from a cloud service is, is installed in the cloud. Now, why is that important? That's important because what makes mobile gaming big is the fact that it performs well on your, your daddy device, which may be your mobile phone at the time. You ain't gotta worry about no hiccups and online only serves as some type of DRM. You know what I'm saying? The guard over the pirating or the distribution of the app. You don't need the internet stability to be large in order to play these games. Cloud gaming, that is, is exactly like that. And where Xbox is being released and where Apple's <laughs> major markets, in, markets are at this moment, tell the tale. The, that's the devil in the details. Let me explain to you why. First and foremost, Apple's major distribution and market share areas for iPhones are in the United States and in China. Almost half of iPhone's market share is in those two countries. It's split in the rest of the other half is split in the rest of the world. And if you want a more detailed look at it, it looks like this. US is huge. China's huge, Europe semi-huge, Japan quarterly huge, and the rest of it is in the rest of the world. Split up in little chunks of the rest of the world, okay? Now, the reason why that's important is because, again, people think that the petitions and all this other stuff is going to move Apple. If you look at the two biggest areas for iPhones, US and China, and xCloud, xCloud either is not going to be stable in those areas or it's not even going to be available. What do I mean by that? When xCloud releases on September 15th, 2020, it's going to be released in 22 locales. Those locales are Austria, Belgium, Canada, Czech Republic, Denmark, Finland, France, Germany, Hungary, Ireland, 
Italy, neither Netherlands, Norway, Portland, Portugal, Slovakia, Spain, South Korea, Sweden, Switzerland, United Kingdom, and United States. Now, let's deal with the largest iPhone area, which is China. Notice how China's not even in there. China's not there. So Apple doesn't care about what xCloud is willing to do and its largest distribution area, China. Nobody, Apple doesn't care. United States, okay, it's launching in the United States. But guess what? In the United States, you have an overwhelming majority of 4G coverage. And 5G just got hampered because of the um, United States deal with um, the Hawaii company. That's put a halt to the whole expansion of 5G in the United States. So for a while, 4G is going to predominate everybody's access to cloud mobile gaming. And I'm here to let you know, as someone that has been doing cloud gaming across the board for a very long time, a lot more than you xCloud warriors, 4G mobile cloud gaming on xCloud is going to be a rough sell to convince people to drop their iPhones, even if they are gamers, even if, even if they are interested. Cloud gaming right now is far from ideal on 4G. Mobile gamers like to play on the go, and 99% of the time they re they're relying on their, you know, they're relying on on a lot of their uh, 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 mobile. So I won't say 99% of the time, but a lot of their time they're relying upon their mobile services, if at all. You know what I'm saying for the DRM portion. The majority of the time, the stuff is installed on the device. They ain't got to worry about nothing. So when you compound the fact that again, where Apple's major distribution is, it's going to be Apple's major iPhone distribution is in United States and in China. In China, xCloud isn't even going to launch there. In United States, it's going to perform poor it is not going to perform to the expectation of those that are buying all these extra phones on the go. So for quote unquote gaming on the go, people are just gonna to stick to Switch. Or if I'm a pure mobile gamer, I'm going to stick to my daddy device style of mobile gaming, which is the one that predominates the world. I am not going to be enthused about cloud mobile gaming. Now, when it comes to cloud gaming altogether, Per broadband bullies, we help people understand. This is an article that we have, courtesy of your boy. Why xCloud versus stated talks right now are foolish? That's because there's a big, big water cooler talk happening around xCloud and how it's going to destroy Stadia. And let's take Stadia out of the equation. Cloud gamers in totality want to gain on PCs, laptops, TVs. 48% prefer PC laptops, 41% prefer TVs, only 11% prefer phones. Why? Because they get the most stable performance on their PCs and their laptops via Wi-Fi. Phones are not going to blow up and take up a larger swath of this pie until 5G comes where phones are going to be very lucrative because you're going to get the same stability no matter where you go with your phone. That's just the way that it is. We've done a survey. We went to all the major cloud gaming services where those cloud gamers are at. These are the results that we came up with. So again, campaigns like this mean nothing to Apple. Why don't they mean anything to Apple? Even though they're throwing out shenanigans like we're Wu-Tang, we're willing to save the kids. Because if you look at the majority of where iPhones are sold, xCloud either is it going to exist or xCloud is not going to be stable? It's going to be something that is niche, that people will try out. They're going to be super enthused about it the first two, three, four weeks. Then after they try to play it on the go, they're going to be like, yeah. And that's what all cloud gaming right now until the advent of 5G really starts taking over the mobile service 
connection. But believe you me, Apple is fully aware of that. United States ain't gonna flip a whole ain't gonna flip a whole lot over some shoddy 4G mobile cloud gaming. China doesn't even have X Cloud. So for those of you that believe that X Cloud has the power behind it to change a lot of people's minds to be on iPhones, you are fooling yourselves. And I'm telling you that the majority of people that are going to get Xbox when they play it at home, they're going to play it on their or on their console. They're gonna play it on their console. They are not going to care about playing cloud gaming on a 4G service. When 5G hits United States, then we might have something to talk about. But please don't separate, please separate the force from the trees as I tried to do here. Because my homie Eric Shockley is representative of the entire Xbox belief system as far from the from the minority of the minority, the Xbox hardcore enthusiasts. Where he says, Apple's market share has been shrinking and things like this will continue to add to that. Not in some substantial way. I respond to uproot their current policy, which is mighty lucrative for them to maintain a puny user base is absurd. iPhone's main user base will not shrink significant enough to warrant a change. Mobile cloud gaming has no such power, period. Simply put, xCloud needs Apple more than Apple needs xCloud. Y'all better get with the details do your research. Do not let Phil practice his S tier mind habuki on you. You're not gonna move the needle. Period. If you wanna play X Cloud? Just get Android. <laughs> but you're gonna be in the minority of a minority, leaving Apple for Android. And that's it from your boy MM2K. Let me know what you think about what I had to say in the comment section below. Cause like I always say, who cares what I think? But if you did like what I had to say, check out the links below to follow me. Those links will lead you to the broadband bullies, PNTS Network, Hard Knock Digital Culture, and yes, the Stadium Dosage. And with all that said, you guys have a wonderful, wonderful gaming day. Peace.